I've missed them so much. Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's Papa. And today, I'm bringing you guys back with a video twice in one day. That's right. I am upload I uploaded my band list earlier today. And now today, we also have our new release ABC deck profile with Buster fresh at three. I have six, but it's at three. So without further ado, before we go ahead and get into the deck profile, I'd like to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Let's go ahead and look at what we're playing for the format, the best deck. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump off into our list. We are gonna be starting off the monster lineup. We are playing the three copies of A Assault Core, three copies of B Buster Drake, and three copies of Crush Wyvern. We play them all at three because we do have three Buster Dragon now. Debatably, you could play the two, three, two if you'd like, but I like playing three because games two and three, you can always side out that missing piece if you'd like. It's really just personal preference, but I do like the three, three, three ratio. I'm not playing Desires. I will put that as a disclaimer now. Desires is not needed in the deck. It's really just up to you. I wanted to keep the deck at 40 and there's cards that I wanted to keep in here to make it 40. You could play 42 and play two Desires if you want. Debatably, you could play 43 or you could just take out the Dragoon engine, which I am playing as well. It's all debatable. I do like the 3-3-3, so fight me. We are, due, we are also playing two copies of Union Driver. If you draw it, it sucks. I always draw the when it was at one, so I just decided to play two instead, and it's been really beneficial, so I can't complain. I do also play two Gold Gadget and two Silver Gadget. You don't have to play these cards. You could play Photon Thrasher instead. You could play like the three thrasher with the one rota. I do like playing the gadgets because they are hand trap bait. You could get hand trapped and then you could just rely on your galaxy soldiers or your hand traps. It depends on you. It depends on what your opening hand is, but I do like the two two ratio on the gadgets. And then we are playing the three copies of galaxy soldier as well as the one copy of photon orbital. Photon orbital because you get to equip it off of union carrier. And if you send it through Union Carrier, you get to search your Galaxy Soldier. We also max out on the Galaxy Soldiers because if you open up Galaxy Soldier with Union Hanger and either a piece or a gadget, then you have full combo. Full combo usually ends on a Dragoon with an Infinity with a Buster Dragon, so yeah, it's pretty good. That's it for like the regular monster lineup. For the other monsters, we are playing the one Dark Magician and then the one copy of Red Eyes Black Dragon. A uh, big shocker, we're playing Dragoon in this deck. You don't have to play Dragoon. You could play Desires if you want, but I do like Dragoon in this deck because if you open up the three card combo, then you have a crazy end board. And what can you say? So those and then we are playing hand traps we play two copies of nibiru and three copies of ash blossom and three copies of infinite and permanence debatably you don't need to play three ash i don't really like playing ash but since you don't know what the format's going to turn out to be we don't know what's good what's not i do like playing ash because it does stop rogue decks and it does hit everything in every deck so why not uh, three imperms it's basic uh, you can't get it hit by a call by the grave and it stops cards like tactical talents two from triggering and then nibiru is just nibiru i only play two of it because i don't think with dragon link now gone and uh infernoble now gone as well i think the two is fine but that's it for the hand traps and now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the spells real quick we play the obligatory three copies of union hanger with the three copies of unauthorized reactivation unauthorized reactivation is really good because if it plays around hand traps so you could get hit by an imperm and you could chain the reactivation to your machine monster and it could equip a C from the deck making it unaffected by the imperm or vice versa like if a monster or spell activates that targets your machine monster as well you can do the same thing and equip either the A or the B depends on your situation but unauthorized reactivation at three is really really good and it helps too if you don't have to open up union hanger you still have combo that way as well and then for one of spells we play the one copy of terraforming one copy of red eyes fusion one copy of call by the grave one copy of Monster Reborn, and to keep it at 40, we play the one copy of Upstar Goblin. Nice even 40, but that's it for the spells. I'm not playing Cyclone or anything like that. I don't think it's needed in the main deck. I think that's like really just a side deck thing. Going into the extra deck, we play the fresh three copies of ABC Dragon Buster. Now, hear me out. I honestly kind of wanted to just keep playing two. I have to play three. It's a new profile. It just came off the list. We got to fresh it out at three. So three copies of Buster Dragon. It's your best card in the deck. Uh, one copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This card is crazy as well, but I mean, we're here for the real dragon. So uh, I only play two rank fours. I play the Dweller with the Digesto Emerald. I play them both because 
Dweller just being the more simple one and probably with the popularity of Phantom Knights, you're going to be seeing a lot more Graveyard Reliant decks and Graf and Seer just came back as well. So Dweller is really good there. I guess so Emerald is for the late game, the grind game. Uh, it helps you recycle, helps you just be able to keep going. Uh, with Digesso Emerald in the deck, you could make multiple busters and it's good. It's really good. And then for the other Xyz, I only play the Nova and the Infinity because we're playing Galaxy Soldier and who doesn't love ending on a Cyber Dragon Infinity? That's that there. For the Lynx, we play the one copy of Verte Anaconda, the one copy of Union Carrier. I'm so glad this didn't get banned instead of the Dragon Buster because I honestly thought with how many people were talking about this, this could have gotten banned instead because people don't know how to shut the fuck up. But since Buster or Dragon got banned instead, we do get to play the Union Carrier still. And then we play the Platinum Gadget. Platinum Gadget is really good as well. It makes it to where you can end on like your multiple negate board with the Galaxy Soldier and the gadgets. So Platinum Gadget, you do have to play in this build particularly. I also play one copy of Nightmare Phoenix and one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. This is like the dynamic duo package. Uh, you could play Cerberus if you wanted to. You could arguably cut probably Apollosa. I do play the Apollosa, but you could arguably cut this if you'd like for a Cerberus if you want, or you could cut the Emerald. It depends on your preference, really. I just play the Apollosa just in case. And then the last card we play in the extra deck, we play the one access code talker because when these links go away, you fill this bad boy up. This with Buster Dragon, game. But yeah, guys, that's it for the deck profile. And yeah, guys, that's it. So thank you for looking at this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a double upload today, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I do have more deck profiles coming now that we got a new ban list today. So be on the lookout for those in the near future. Some new, some revamped. So... Yeah, I'm looking at a lot of Nubron decks too, so I have some Nubron decks coming as well. I think I have two planned, so be on the lookout for those decks. But yeah guys, thank you again for watching today's video, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. I missed you.